the Secretary General invited uh, the high level dignitaries that will come to the General Assembly for the opening of uh, this year's session to seize the opportunity of their presence in New York, well, to take action on the Paris Agreement. And he is therefore organizing a high level event which is to take place on September 21st at the General Assembly Hall from 8 to 9 a.m., in which uh, these dignitaries will have the opportunity to hand to the Secretary General himself their instruments of uh, ratification or acceptance or approval to uh, the Paris Agreement. The Paris Agreement also provides that for it to enter into force, you need for states to ratify or accept it. And more specifically, we need for at least 55 states representing 55% of the global greenhouse gas emissions to ratify or accept the agreement. This is a very wise uh, provision since it ensures that a critical mass be gathered before the agreement enter into force for it to constitute an effective response to uh, climate change. Thirty days after we reach that landmark of 55 uh, states ratifying the agreement representing 55% of the global greenhouse gas emissions, the Paris Agreement will enter into force. 55 uh, states is not our ultimate goal. What we expect is for the Paris Agreement to reach a universal scope and the same universal scope that all other environmental treaties have reached such as the Framework Convention on Climate Change or the Vienna Convention on the Ozone Layer and its Montreal Protocol, which are prime examples of how the international community may join its forces in order to combat a threat uh, to humankind.